Welcome back to a new vlog. I am picking up from yesterday. So yesterday you guys saw me package um, some orders that was going out for Valentine's Day to this local organization. I packed everything up. I'm gonna insert a picture how the inside looked like. So I just packed everything all in one box and I'm gonna ship it to her because she's going to distribute it out at the event while the ladies are walking around picking all the essential items. We'll get a piece of jewelry reminding them to be that girl, to know that they're enough, to know that they deserve all the best things in life. And I want them to be constantly reminded. Despite being a team mom, yes, maybe things didn't go the right way, but I want them to feel like they're loved and they deserve as much as anyone else. For this morning, I am wearing, you know, my lover girl's heart. Uh, my lover girl's bracelet, my uh, minimalist ring, and my heart um, self-love ring. So all in hearts for the month of love. I got these beautiful bouquet of roses and I'm just in love. Look how nice. And I'm gonna take some pictures with it, especially with my necklace so we can give the lover girls a vibe because we are in the lover receiving energy, yes. <laughs> to celebrate your 15K on YouTube, we're oh, just celebrating. So sweet, yes. <laughs> Thank you. She got me cupcakes, you guys. Oh my God, that's so sweet. I did recently reach 15K. We definitely need to celebrate. Yes. <laughs> but we have Valentine's Night Cup coming up, so. Yeah. We'll celebrate girls' night out and 15 k <laughs> Thank you. Valentine's Day you guys oh my gosh we are officially at 15k subscribers oh my gosh we are growing and growing and growing and I'm just ready to raise my standards I'm ready to create new content I'm ready to elevate this channel elevate my business my life and everything just raising my whole standard and this morning I was just um, watching a business motivation video. I was just writing some notes down from the video, the things he said. And I just wanna go over it with you because I'm ready to raise the standard of my life. I feel like now that I'm getting older, I feel like I need to stop playing around with my life and get serious. Especially when people count on you, especially when you just want to become a better version of yourself. Um, so, he was saying not having standards will have you chasing the next thing. If you don't have standards, you don't have boundaries, the next shiny the next shiny thing you see, you'll end up chasing it. And it's like when the donkey has a carrot dangling in front of him. So I definitely don't want to do that to myself because I will always start something and never finish. Of course, I've had my jewelry brand for a long time now, but it's now I need to stop doing the same old things and really elevate and really 
push myself, challenge myself to do greater things. Just saying like, you know, write down what type of life you want. <laughs> of course, that has me reflecting to figure out the life I want and how I can align that um, with the things I'm doing right now and just stepping into that person I want to be. He also said, if you're going to tolerate the BS, you will continue to get BS. I just love that. All the things you have in your life right now is a manifestation of what you have tolerated. But I definitely agree. Like the things that you have in your life is not because you had every little control of all the things that's currently going on in your life. And if there are some things that you can't control, at least control your emotions, how you want to proceed, how you plan on getting out of that situation so you have a lot of decisions when it comes to what happens to your life and you make those choices whether you choose to do nothing or you complain about it you look it from a negative light you can step up do the work and continue moving forward so i just want to leave you with those words from the video i watched this morning Good morning guys it's a new day and today i'm finally packing this wholesale order she finally placed her order for 50 pieces and i have 50 items to pack today but it's going in one box so it shouldn't be a problem but before i get started on packing i'm gonna go ahead and make me a smoothie because i'm really hungry and i need to take in my protein for today Today is such a beautiful, beautiful day. Finally finalized my collection idea. So we're definitely moving forward with the heart collection. We're gonna release it in around March, but I was trying to finalize what type of bracelet, earrings, or a different thing that would make you look so cohesive. And it's gonna fall in the brown range. So it's gonna be like a brown inspired collection. Now I just have to finalize the marketing details, some of the content we're gonna create. I'm just happy because yesterday I had to sit down and really focus in on what was going to be released for March. slowly working through the 50 pieces for this order but i took a small break because i was trying out this new redesign software i got an ad for it and i was like oh let me let me go ahead and i've been looking for a jewelry design software for the longest if you didn't know i've been using canva to design my pieces of jewelry manually taking pieces the little stones taking um, the jump rings and placing them all together but this software i just discovered i'm gonna like play around with it some more i was playing around with the heart shape style and then if it's really really that good if it works out if you know i submit it to my vendor and they understand every all the aspects and everything i am trying to go for 
then I will let you guys know there's something that's well needed there's something you can invest your money into it and start designing your own pieces of jewelry and this will help your design process when it comes to your business so much Guys, I am having the worst time with my manufacturer. Like, she is kind of pissing me off. And I've been, she's, I've been a long time client of hers for a long time. And I'm trying to do this new concept with this necklace idea I have in my mind, my vision that I put down on my Canva design. I sent it to her basically this brown color idea I one of them ha one of the pendant has to be light brown so we've been going back and forth since what like the end of December January on this color issue guys I just want them to understand I want a light brown pendant not a orangey brownish color I don't know why they can't get the color right I've sent them so many color codes and they're just not getting it right. She told me you have to go to the color, the the color code that they use. Now she's saying that her workers wasted so much enamel colors on the pendant doing the sample. I mean, of course they're gonna waste. You know, if they can't get it right the first time. Of course, it's gonna get wasted. But I want to make sure I am getting something that I'm happy about, something I'm going to be able to sell, something I'm going to feel comfortable creating in my collection. Originally, I had four colors. They were not getting it right, so I dropped it down to two. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to work with two in the collection just because I, I don't have time to be... Because it could take months if I'm trying to figure out this whole color, exact color coding match. The dark brown one is fine, but it's the light brown color that can't get right. So I'm like, should I not carry the light brown color and only do the dark brown color for this next collection? It's because whenever I get new ideas and concepts, I just want to make them real. And I'm not able to be there physically and oversee what they're trying to get done. And that's why like, I need to look for a manufacturer that can actively, proactively allow me to see what's going on behind the scenes. And allow me to talk with them and be there like even if it's not there physically allow me to oversee it virtually a manufacturer allows me to be hands-on because she's a vendor from alibaba i've told you guys if you guys have sourced my vendor list you know i work with manufacturers from alibaba.com that is nothing new and the manufacturer has great high quality products all of my customer rave about the quality of my jewelry pieces so i have no doubt about their quality now when it comes to executing certain designs and ideas that's the issue i run into them and i need to find a manufacturer that can allow me to see my vision let it come to light because but i just need to diversify my vendors so that's what i have going on and the whole designing process can be stressful I'm just like I am trying to like not stress myself out but that's what I'm going through right now I'm trying to figure out this color system mind you I am not a design expert literally I came into this jewelry industry with no help I there was lack of videos lack of guidance and I was like let me document my journey with this YouTube channel like I'm gonna show you guys how I am navigating this industry how I'm building my collection, how, you know, what I have going on. So if you guys come into my channel expecting for me to be this perfect expert, that's not the case. I am going through the journey, learning, you know, figuring things out along the way and then giving you guys info and showing you guys what I'm going through so you have someone to relate to because, girl, it's crazy out here.